Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and let's talk a little bit about why I'm utilizing the Incline Closed Grip Bench Press. And it's kind of the same reason that I use the Closed Grip Bench Press for my flat bench instead of the wider grip. Simply put, it has the potential for more hypertrophy because of the longer range of motion. Now, joint angle specificities become more important for strength curves if your goals are purely strength and athletic performance. And yes, there is always going to be a correlation between size and strength. You cannot separate the two entirely. A bigger muscle is a stronger muscle. Making a muscle stronger is going to make it bigger. However, in this case, when we're looking at overall development, because I am trying to bring up my upper chest, I am trying to bring up my triceps, things like that, range of motion becomes very, very important. And we know that range of motion matters for hypertrophy. Training a muscle through a further range of motion usually results in a bit better development. Not dr dramatically different, but better. And that's one of the reasons that Partial reps are simply not as useful for overall development while they might improve certain parts of the strength curve. Now, a lot of times dumbbells become a very, very effective method for doing this because you can move a weight through a further range of motion. This sometimes comes with the loss of intensity because you can't utilize as much weight always, particularly because you're trying to independently balance each side. But that's the reason I'm using incline curls. A lot of people have noted, hey, Jason, your biceps are coming up. Well, incline curls are my only bicep isolation movement. That is my go-to curl. Occasionally hammer curls, but that's more for brachialis and forearms. But uh, that's my bicep movement because I get a deeper stretch. I can get a longer range of motion because I don't have a bar hitting my body at the bottom. Well, that's one of the reasons so many bodybuilders really favor the incline dumbbell press. You can get that further range of motion. But what you guys will note, just like I've noted in the close grip bench press videos, when you bring your grip in and you go to a close grip, you can extend the range of motion. You get a deeper stretch at the bottom. If you look, there's more shoulder rotation. You're getting more stretch on the pecs at the bottom. And you're moving the weight a longer distance. So contrary to popular belief, a lot of people are like, well, it just works more triceps. That's why you have to use less weight on a closer grip is because uh, there's less chest involvement. So that, that's clearly why you're weaker on it. No, it's not why you're weaker on it. There's just as much chest involvement. It's that you're having to move the weight a further distance. So it becomes more difficult to move the same amount of weight. You're having to get more stretch at the bottom. You're moving the weight longer through a further range of motion. Well, the same holds true with the incline. And if you look at the stretch that you get on a close grip incline bench, as you guys can watch me doing them here, you'll note that the stretch is as deep as you can get or pretty close to what you get from the incline dumbbell press. So it offers one of the big advantages that you get from dumbbells here without the extra hassle of having to get the, the dumbbells into place, the slightly higher chance of injury. And I'm not saying the injury chance is high. If you're smart, it's going to be fairly low. But you are removing that. In addition to uh, by gripping it closer, it's easier to get a better tuck at the bottom for better protection of your shoulders. So it's a very safe way to increase the range of motion on your incline press and still utilize a, a really good uh, free weight movement. So that's the reason I'm using it. We could argue as to whether dumbbells versus doing this close grip incline are better. We could go in circles arguing about that all day long. And you know what? Neither one is a bad choice. They're both good choices for developing your upper chest, your shoulders, triceps, things like that, particularly your upper chest. They're both fantastic exercises. You can't go wrong with either. That's just why I'm personally utilizing that. And if you happen to choose the other one, guess what? You're not wrong either. It comes down to kind of your personal preference and which tool you want to use. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.